welcome back to the channel if this is your first time here welcome I am aka Bullmoto and I make dumb home movies around motorcycles so today we are back here at Blackman Cycle to take a look at the 2023 Royal Enfield Scram but before we get into it I want to thank the fine folks over here at Blackman Cycles for allowing us to come in again and film these bikes this dealership has been servicing the Lehigh Valley area for over 65 years and services a wide area from PA into New Jersey. From Allentown to Philadelphia, Reading, Scranton, Harrisburg, Lancaster, Bethlehem, Phillipsburg, New Jersey and a few more. They also carry a wide selection of brands and models like Can-Am, Suzuki, Yamaha, Skidoo, Honda, Royal Enfield, Aprilia. From ATVs to motorcycles, side-by-sides, personal watercraft, snowmobiles and more. Guys, they carry so many things here, I'm out of breath just talking about it. Okay guys, let's go take a look at this bike. Modern life demands consistent switching between modes. Wire sport wheels on a dual sport tire ensure sure footage grip and effortless agility across tarmac, rough roads and dirt tracks. Long travel suspension and a high ground clearance ensures an easy ride over tricky terrain because a modern classic Scram 411 is built to handle whatever life throws at you. This bike carries a single cylinder 4 stroke air cool SOSH fuel injected engine and is chain driven with a 5 speed gearbox. Okay guys, let's take a look at these wheels. The front wheel is 19 inches with a 100 by 90 tire. And the rear is 17 inches with a 120 by 90 tire. Okay guys, let's move on to the brakes. These brakes come with ABS. The front discs are 300mm with a Bybrae 2 piston floating caliper. And the rear is a 244mm disc with one single piston caliper. Ok guys, let's talk suspension. The front are telescopic 41mm forks with 190mm of travel. And the rear is a monoscopic with linkage with 180 millimeters of travel. Okay guys, I went over to use this manual on this bike and I can't find anything that mentions adjusting the rear shock. But if you look right here, you'll see there's some grooves here on the shock. So there may be some level of adjustability. Obviously not by too much. Moving on to the seat height, this bike rises at 31.3 inches. You could use me as a reference. I am 5'10 with a 32 inch in seam and you can see how I look standing next to this bike. Okay guys, you can see how I look sitting on this bike. My feet are hardly touching the ground and that's because 31.3 inches is about the standard height for our ATV vehicle. You need that ground clearance for when you're off-roading and if you can look at the bottom here, you can see there is a skid plate and that is for those rocky terrains you'll be riding on. As you can see right here guys, this bike comes with passenger pegs and a rail pillion just in case you wanted to take a passenger with you. Okay guys, let's get into the curve weight. The curve weight of this bike is 408 pounds. Traveling long distance. The fuel capacity on this bike is 3.9 gallons. Looking at ground clearance, this bike is 7.9 inches off the ground. Guys, I look but I can't find the rake and trail of this bike. Okay guys, it's time to move on to the dash. This dash is a mixture of analog and digital. So the speedometer is analog and everything else is digital. 
So we're going to make our way from the left to the right of this dash. At the left top, you can see the fuel gauge. Under the fuel gauge is the time. To the right of the time, you can see the gear indicator. Under the gear indicator is the trip miles, A miles, and B miles. At the bottom of that is the total miles. To the bottom left, you can see the battery indicator. To the right of the battery indicator, you can see the neutral indicator. Under the neutral indicator is the ABS. And to the right of the ABS is the engine jet light. If you look to your right, you can see a circle gauge. That circle gauge is the tripometer. Okay guys, here's a little information about the tripper. The tripper is designed to help you with navigation. So you can connect your phone to it to help you with turn by turn navigation. So you can use this to connect to your phone via Bluetooth to allow for navigation so you don't have to use your phone. Moving on to the lights. All the lights on this bike are halogen. From the turn signals to the running lights to the front headlight and the brake light, they're all halogen. This bike comes in many different colors, seven to be exact. From white flames, silver sprite, blazing black, skyline blue, graphic blue, graphic red, and graphic yellow. Now let's move on to the price of this bike. Okay guys, time to talk price. This bike comes in at $5,099 with a freight charge of $499 and a discharge of $299. Guys, remember what I always tell you, there may be a prep fee and a dot fee associated with this bike. Okay guys, it's time to wrap the video up, but before I do that, I want to thank the fine folks over here at Blackman Cycles for allowing us to come in and film this bike. If you're in the area, please remember to stop in and ask for Warren. Alright guys, if you made it this far into the video, I appreciate you. There are a million things you could be doing right now, but you chose to spend this time with me and I appreciate that. So remember guys, keep your eyes on the swivel, keep the sticky side down, the shiny side up, and guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace!